Hello there, this is Cyril. I found it necessary to rewrite my Ideals Church commandments again. And I'm doing this because I wasn't quite satisfied with the positive version because it still had some doubt and negativity in it. It was a little hard for my brain to register it. I have learned that the brain will hear what it hears, precisely what it hears. If you say no, it will understand no. If you uh, say not, it will understand not. And it will also understand the, uh, the words after the word not. So um, I'm keeping this version super positive with no... Yeah, I'm keeping it super positive. I'm not even going to say with no not. Yeah, I was going to say that, but double negative makes a positive. So here we go. I want to train my own brain and anyone else who cares to hear this. Just think of what a world it would be if we all thought these six commandments. Not telling you how to think or what to do. Oh, I said not again. Oops. You get the idea. Let's train our brains to think these six commandments with pure affirmation. My Six Commandments of the Ideals Church of Universal Ethics by Sarah E. 1. Thou shalt regard others with gratitude. 2. Thou shalt walk, stand, sit, and or lay with others in integrity. 3. Intimate relations shall be for two purposes, producing offspring and or establishing a bond with your betrothed or committed partner, partners. 4. Contain to retain and maintain intimacy with yourself and or with your committed partner, partners. Contain feelings and thoughts of anyone outside your arrangement, whether your arrangement in your home is solo, partner, or partners, with or without offspring. This means whether you are living by yourself or just with friends or living with a monogamous partner or a polyamorous arrangement with partners or whether or not you have children, contain to retain and maintain intimacy and connection and integrity with yourself and or with them. Thou shall remain faithful in the arrangement. 5. Maintain a modest attitude towards self. Practice abundance mindset, compersion, and attitude of gratitude at all times. 